What should a top luxury sports coupe be? Sharp and driver orientated like a Porsche 911? Or a luxurious Grand Tourer like the Mercedes S-Class Coupe? If you can't decide, this G15 series BMW 8 series coupe might offer the perfect solution. A gentleman's racer, is that what this is? Well, BMW thinks so. Now for you, that might conjure up pictures of Brooklands in the 30s, but what the Munich maker means by that term is a kind of big sporty GT that Aston Martin has long specialized in. In terms of the driving experience, what BMW has aimed for here is something midway between what's served up by this car's two main rivals, the Mercedes S-Class Coupe and more powerful versions of the Porsche 911. And broadly, that's what you get. This car's raison d'etre isn't primarily for the track. No two-ton luxury coupe is ever going to feel completely comfortable on a circuit, but it's a heck of a lot more comfortable there than the previous six series models ever were. Uh, the brand's X-Drive four-wheel drive system is standard, as is integral active steering, which gives you four-wheel steering for extra cornering stability too. Plus, there's fantastic traction through the big bespoke bridge stones and absolutely brilliant brakes. As for engines, well, there are two key ones. Uh, the M850i X-Drive petrol model uses the 4.4-litre V8 that BMW fits to its M5 Super Saloon, uh, detuned to 530 horsepower, uh, so as to leave space at the top of the range for the same unit to put out over 600 horsepower in the flagship M8. Both cars have the Bavarian brand's M Sport differential. Um, it's optional on the other models for extra cornering traction. Uh, there is also a lesser three liter six cylinder petrol 840i and the variant that we've chosen to try here, the three liter six cylinder diesel powered 840d, which offers more torque, 750 newton meters than any other range derivative. Yet it's capable of impressive NEDC2 efficiency up to 40.4 mpg on the combined cycle. And that makes makes possible a realistic 600 mile driving range and up to 160 grams per kilometer of CO2. Surprisingly, probably in pursuit of perceived sportiness, uh, BMW has chosen not to carry over the air suspension system from its other large models. And as a result, uh, despite adaptive uh, M suspension being standard, the ride is rather firmer than some buyers will want. But there's plenty to compensate for that, including exemplary high-speed refinement and the option of the Munich Maker's latest semi-autonomous driving technology. It's been a long time since BMW brought us a large coupe that was really elegant, but most will agree that this modern era 8 series design really is. It's uh, very much a BMW, of course, at the front with one of the widest double kidney grills yet seen on a Bayerisch Motorenwerke model, uh, which flows into the slimmest headlamps that the brand's ever used. In profile, the roofline's low, fast arc is certainly striking, as are the wide shoulders and the short overhangs. As usual, what's more important is the stuff you can't see, though. Uh, this car, like all of BMW's modern larger models, adopts the Munich Maker's cluster architecture carbon core platform, which uses a mix of high-strength steel, aluminium, magnesium, and carbon fiber reinforced plastic. Time to take a look inside. The seating position is notably low, reminding you of this 8 Series model's more focused driving remit. And you're surrounded by a cabin that's high in quality, but perhaps lacking a little in terms of sheer specialness. Adding in little touches like the crafted clarity glass finishing for various controls helps quite a bit here. Uh, it's hard to fault the digital screen technology delivered by the standard live cockpit professional package, uh, which combines this 12.3 inch digital instrument cluster display with a 10.25 inch center dash infotainment monitor. All of it accessible via touchscreen, uh, the usual lower iDrive touch controller or voice control. And you're perfectly positioned in front of it all by a brilliantly supportive uh, multifunctional sports seats trimmed in white stitched merino leather that extends up onto the dash. Now, despite this car's near five meter long body length, there's almost no legroom on offer if the driver ahead of you is more than average height. And headroom's not much better either. Small children will be okay back here, but otherwise, a little disappointingly, uh, these pews are strictly for jackets and designer shopping bags only. 
Finally, let's take a look at luggage space out back. Uh, there's a decent 420 litres of boot capacity and for longer loads, BMW also gives you the useful option to use these catches uh, to drop the 50-50 split folding rear bench. BMW itself admits that the days of big GT style coupes are probably numbered, at least in this form anyway. Forthcoming emissions legislation won't look too kindly on a 4.4 litre V8 and the less said about big diesels the better. So maybe we should just enjoy this car while we can. But is it the ultimate driving machine that the ads will promise? Well, that'll depend on how you define that. This car does so in its own very distinct way with elegance, arrogance and excellence in equal measure. For a particular kind of customer, that'll be a very appealing combination indeed.